Well, this showed up earlier than expected. Let's take a look at it. So I just want to be clear from the start on this one, this is a first impressions video. This just came in today, so there's no way I've had enough time with it to do a full comprehensive review on it. But I did want to share some initial thoughts on it. Uh, this isn't going to be heavy performance based again. I have not spent enough time with it for that, but I do want to talk about the build quality and uh, well, I guess I'll throw some numbers up on the screen right there. Uh, those are some pretty decent numbers. Uh, those are pack fresh darts right out of the box. First shots fired with it were over the chronograph. I didn't want to run any risk of having the darts not be brand new, anything going wrong with them. So I pulled them out, loaded them up, put them over the chronograph, and uh, there's some full length dart info for you as well. Now, this is obviously an incredibly small sample size but I will be doing more and more as time goes on. As the extra darts show up, only the blaster with the 15 darts of each type came today, so I don't have a, a large pool of darts to pull from, but the numbers aren't bad, ranging from the mid 160s to the low 180s, with like one outlier, like I think was it 185 or something like that, but still very solid, respectable numbers for a stock blaster. Now, stock is a very, loose term in this situation, but uh, you have to assume, I have to assume that there's things we can do to this blaster to pump it up a little bit more, improve some seals somewhere, uh, because it's, it's, there's got to be room to, to eke out some more performance in this, and I'm excited to see what people do with them as they are showing up on people's doorsteps. This is one I purchased. This was not sent to me. This was purchased thanks to all of you on Patreon that made it possible. So because of you, I was able to pick this up to do a review, which I'm excited to spend time with this and do. Now, talking about numbers, uh, like I said, didn't wanna get too much into that, but there were some for you to consider. How does the blaster feel? It feels pretty good. Like, kinda surprisingly good. I expected it to feel a little bit cheaper, despite the price point, which is again $180 for this uh, Mark I, you know, collector's edition or launch edition, whatever you want to call it. But it feels nice. Like the, I don't think I can actually. I mean, granted, I'm not very strong, to be fair, but it, it there's not really flex in this barrel shroud. Um, where there is flex and there is some wobble is this grip. I'm not a fan of that. Um, for, for how good a lot of this feels, this does not feel great. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't inspire confidence in me when I'm using it. Like I, I, it primes well, which is great. But again, if I'm whipping this thing around, I, I, I want that sturdy, stable feeling. Now I haven't put a different uh, pump grip on this yet, so we'll see if that issue persists as I spend more time with it. I will certainly update you in the full review of that. Um, otherwise, though, like I said, the build quality feels surprisingly good. Honestly, I, I expected not this good, and I'm blown away by how nice it feels in my hand. The best part, to me, is the grip. It's not just plastic, it's like a rubberized kind of feel to it, and it's great. I really, really like it. Um, if you watched my most recent video about uh, the things to bring to a tournament, I mentioned bringing gloves because, you know, hands get sweaty and such. This will help with that. I mean, granted, I'd still probably wear gloves, but for a casual game, this, this will help with that, and that is phenomenal. I love it. Super big fan of that grip edition. Um, the buffer tube and stock are 
pretty good. I had some issues with it earlier, first getting it on, like there was maybe a piece of flash or something from the mold that was kind of getting in the way. But once I ran it in once or twice, it's been fine. Um, I like that it goes out far enough to give me a nice, sturdy, kind of stable feeling. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's gonna collect. Ooh, okay, well maybe if it will if you hit hard enough, but if I'm, uh, if I'm, hitting it that hard hmm I don't know we'll uh we'll test that some more that actually now that I now that I'm putting more into it is granted all right I guess it's with your hand is a bit more force than your shoulder usually gives it but we'll we'll keep an eye on that one but let's let's put it that way we'll keep an eye on that one still more rubberized stuff on the back here that feels nice I like it um Something I'm not a fan of though, you've probably heard it this entire video already is these rings, I want them gone. I, I may just like clip them off or something and use, I don't know, a screwdriver to push these through. I, I just, I don't, I didn't like it on the Sita and I don't like it on this. Um, I, I just, I don't like that sound. It's annoying. It drives me crazy. Um, but I suppose that's a small price to pay for being able to break it down easily, which to be honest, it's neat. It's something that's great for travel, but I'm not like attached to it. I don't need it in my blaster. If this was all one piece, or if they had designed it to be more like a modular kind of setup where there were different front ends, different back ends, uh, you know, stock options and, and stuff like that. And it was just kind of like a receiver and, you know, barrels or and different stuff like that. It would make much more sense to me. But as of right now, all we know is this is this is this. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sold on the two part construction, but it doesn't seem to impair function currently. So as long as that's not the case, then it's not too big of an issue for me. And I'll find a resolution for these in the future. Um, there is a little thing in here that I really like. And maybe I'll, I'll look up here at this camera. I'm not sure if that's gonna see it either, but there's like a fin above the breech that stops your uh, pump grip from going too far forward, your priming rods from, from advancing back again uh, and causing you issues. And again, also will prevent it from the other side as well, which I kind of love because in some cases, other blasters, I have been walking around a game with it up and, and totally, you know, not thinking about it and the grip will just fall down. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm gonna, you know, double load now. That's just what we're doing today. Cool. Not really. Uh, so I like that little kind of innovation thing going on there for that. So I dig it, definite thumbs up for that. Uh, aesthetics, I like it. It's cool. It has a nice, you know, very kind of slotted open area look here on the, the pump grip. It's definitely an enjoyable blaster to look at. It's a nice piece, but it's not um, the most amazing thing I've ever looked at. I dig it though definite thumbs up. Overall, I dig it, even if it's not perfect all around, which to be honest, no blaster is. So asking that of any one particular blaster is, you get to a point where you're just nitpicking. So again, it's pretty much just my first impression thoughts. Big things I'm looking out for is this grip over time, any issues there, um, performance, if it stays consistent, the stock, if that uh, you know, being able to slap it in becomes a problem over time. Uh, and then, yeah, just general performance and use in games and events and stuff like that. So I'm going to spend some time with this and uh, then I'll get back to you. So leave your thoughts down below. What do you think the end result for this will be? Are you interested in picking one up? Were you waiting for numbers? Are you still going to hold off? Let me know down below. If you're new to the channel, enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular. And I'll see you next time.